In this video, we are going to improve the enemy AI so that they will move towards you when they see you and also when they hear you. So they'll be able to hear you moving around corners and um, they will also chase you around corners as well. So let's go ahead and we're going to open up our enemy. We're going to open up the scene. Now, if you haven't figured it out yet, you can actually click on these little clappers here and they will open the, the scene. And in this enemy, we are going to add in a um, two things. We're going to add an area node to it. So area. And we're also going to add in uh, a collision shape. Now this collision shape, I'm going to make a uh, cylinder shape. I'm just going to expand that out quite a bit. So maybe turn the radius up to 10, 12, 14. This is going to be the radius that the enemy will be able to hear you within. So I'm going to change this to um, earshot. Okay, just so I know what this thing is. These, this I don't need to. Uh, the ray cast, I'm going to change this to um, visual. Uh, this would be oral. Let's change that to oral and visual. So the enemy's hearing, enemy's seeing. It doesn't really matter what you call these, whatever you prefer. Um, with that, we're going to go into the script for this. But first, I'm going to go ahead and just add a signal for body entered. And I'll connect that there. Okay, so body entered. And that's going to put this down the bottom there. So with that, no, what we're going to do here is just check something. Um, actually, let's go right at the top. I'm going to add a variable here. And this variable is going to be bar searching equals false. And we're going to need another one as well. On ready var ray equals uh, dollar sign visual. So we've got those there. And... So good. But let's go back down the bottom here. What we're going to do is we're going to check, oh, excuse me, if body dot is in group, the player group. So if they're in the player group, we're just going to print, I hear you. And then we're going to set searching equal to true. And we can just quickly test this out now. We can go into our world and, and test that. And we should see that when the enemy gets, yeah, so I started right next to it. I'll just run away for a sec. Now, when the enemy gets back within earshot, so if I go into here, it should say, I hear you again down the bottom. So we've got that console log that's working. We're getting within that boundary. Now you can also test it with turning on visible collision shapes so that you can kind of see a little bit better where those shapes are. So if I just leave this, Okay, so I can see coming towards me right now is the player, the, the audio checking box. And then as soon as it goes past me, the player can hear me. All right, but we don't want the player to constantly hunt us down from the start of the game, of uh, the enemy. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add in um, a few other things as well. So we're going to take the physics process here and we are going to add in a line at the top here which says if searching and i'm going to highlight all of this and hit tab so it tabs in one it's only going to do this stuff <coughs> excuse me not sure why i have extra spaces there uh, it's only going to do this stuff here if it's searching so this is all the movement code all the find path etc it's still going to find a new path every every second so it's ready to go um, but if searching then it's going to do that but what we want it to do in the else so back here the else that matches up with this if we're just going to say dollar sign animated sprite 3d dot play idle if it's not searching it's going to play the idle animation and we can't test that yet because at the moment we have got it so that it constantly um tries to find the the player so now we're going to do uh look at or we can't do look at player going to make a new function. If 
function. And this is going to be a look at player. And the first line of this code is going to say ray dot look at and we're going to say player dot global underscore transform dot origin so what this does is it gets the ray which we've made a if i open this up here we've made a, a link to this visual ray cast here it takes that and it points it toward the player now by pointing the ray at the player it's actually um telling the, the ray to, to rotate towards the player and the negative Z is where you want it to be on. So if I go back to the inspector, it should be cast like negative 15 or something into the Z axis. So that's where you want it to be. Uh, I might actually do that a bit more. Negative 20 should go kind of beyond the, just lift that up a bit. There we go. It should go beyond the hearing range. The sight range should go beyond that. And um, there we go. So just reset that back to there and then go back to our code. And what this is saying is look at the player's origin, the center of the player, the center of that player object. And then we're going to check if the ray is gliding. Now there's two ways that this is going to work. Oops, ray dot is gliding. First, it's gonna be able to operate on sight and hearing. When you leave its sight range, if you're still within its hearing range, it's going to try and find, find you. Um, and when you leave its hearing range, then it won't find you anymore. So let's go ahead and check if is in group player. Searching equals true. And we'll just print, I see you. Okay, so if I run this now, and, oh no, actually I can't run it yet. So let's go ahead and go back to here. We're gonna put an else statement here. This else matches up with this if statement. So if and then else, otherwise. If it's not in the group player, we're gonna say searching equals false. But then we're going to check to see if they can still hear the player. Now, this, there's probably better ways to do this. Some of you guys that are good at programming can probably figure out a more efficient way to do this. But I'm just going to do it like this. Check near equals. Um, what did I say? The, uh, oh, no, I'm just going to use a reference to this. Dollar sign oral dot get overlapping bodies. Get all the physics bodies that are overlapping this. And then for body in check near, this gives us a list which we can then iterate through. We're going to say if body dot is in group layer, um, searching equals true. So what this does, we go through this code here. It sets the ray to always look at the player. If the ray is colliding, then it's going to do this. If it's colliding with a player, then it's gonna set searching equal to true. He can see the player, so he's gonna to go towards the player. Searching will be equal to true, we'll do this. And otherwise, if it doesn't see the player, we're gonna automatically set searching to false, but then we're gonna to check to see if the player is still in the, in the oral area. And if it is, if one of the things, cause it's gonna get the, it's gonna get the level, it might get some other enemies that it can hear, um, but if the player is still in that, vicinity then we're going to set searching to true if if it, if none of the bodies are in the group player it won't set this to true and that's done now the last thing we need to do is go up here and just say um at the end or right at the start look at player and that will call that function we'll go through so now i should be able to outrun the enemy i think I'll try this. So at the start, no, I've got an error. Look at, oh, there is a, sorry, a second part you need for this, vector three dot up. Um, so it knows which way it should be rotated. So the enemy's coming towards me and, all right, so now I am 
outside of his visual range. Of course, I want to have some lighting and stuff. He could see me easily. And even though that, that little thing there, but you can't see what I'm pointing at, um, and my collision thing is in the way, but that red line there, down the middle of the screen now, that's the enemy's raycast, and it's currently colliding with a wall. So if I was to do this, you can see me, and I'm in the... All right, so I get back to here. Ooh. He's not actually moving now. I'm outside of his um, visual range. He can't see me anymore. Uh, if I move up to here, it's colliding with the wall in front of it. It's not going to keep track of multiple collisions in this case. You can make it do that. We're not. Um, and then once I go a little bit further forward, it should say, if I go there, he saw me. So and then he started finding me, even though it's outside his visual range. But if I move to here, he hears me. So he's going to come around that corner in a second. And he gets kind of caught on the corner because I haven't really fixed that. And there we go. Right, so now our enemy's got a little bit more intelligence. Uh, we do need to make him shoot us, which we'll take care of in the next video. We'll put a timer on there. Uh, he's, he's not going to chase me anymore. He doesn't see me and he doesn't hear me. I've gotten away from him. He's still pretty dumb.